Hey, my Taurus babies, what's happening? This is EJ from Tarota Tarot, I'm trying to figure out why some of my cards are already flipped over. Anyway, how y'all doing? Oh, it's been a week, hasn't it? This is going to be the weekend update. We are rolling tomorrow, Friday, October 15th through, yeah, I'm going to run it to Wednesday. That's a full moon Wednesday to the 20th. This is five, six days, two, three, four, five, six days. Um, I don't know. This full moon is going to be interesting, especially on the heels of a Mercury retrograde or Mercury stationing direct on Monday. Um, I'm inclined to say some things that would ordinarily just be done and over with because Mercury retrograde is done and over with, particularly in relationships. Not going to be the, the case this time. It's not going to be the case. Um, this full moon has got big wings and long roots. What you want me to tell you? Um, nothing bad, but definitely uh, a lot of change in perspective going on from you and other people. I can't even say other persons, other people. Um, for those of you that have only been running into technical glitches or people not so much from the past, but not current, however that's what it's made. Uh, you probably aren't going to feel what I'm talking about as much. I'm not saying you're not going to feel it at all, but probably not as much. It's going to be a busy weekend for some of you. Uh, a lot of social shit kicking off. Let's see what we get out of these cards here. On the cut for the little cards, we got the Six of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. All in the reverse. Thing. Yeah, in the reverse, all three in the reverse. So, definitely dealing with the past or someone from the past. Uh, that Six of Cups is screaming loud and clear with that Ten of Pentacles about relationships. I'm not ready for that. See what kind of day I'm having. Mercury just. Messing with my mind completely. Oh, prosperity begins. Yeah, I got a feeling some of y'all love begins. That's that's a double whammy right there. Um, I have a feeling a lot of you, not, not all of you, but a lot of you are getting back or at least on the path to getting back with someone from your past. Um, this person might be at a distance from you right in this moment. Uh, but somehow, jobs, relocating, it's putting y'all back in the same, what I want to say, 100 mile radius, give or take. Um, this may be for you, Taurus, a relationship you wanted to happen and it didn't happen for whatever reason, timing was bad, whatever. Uh, but it looks like from this perspective, you are going to move and forge ahead despite whatever uh, difficulties or challenges you encounter. Um, money. A lot of you getting your head into the investment game and investing your little coins. Not a bad idea. Uh, I still probably wouldn't make any big, 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 big commitment before the end of next week. But the research, doing the research, getting to the bottom See them roots down there, getting to the bottom of what you're trying to do, um, getting real information that you need to get. And you might not have all of it just in this moment. Um, love begins. Hmm. The bigger message here, even though we're talking about somebody from the past, let's see, get that down there so y'all can see. Um, is to keep it, stay honest in this. You know, if you're going to move ahead with somebody from your past, don't be dibbling and dabbling. 
with other folks. You're going to need to focus your attention on, on what you're trying to do because, like I said, it's not going to be you're just going to jump back in and it's not going to have any difficulties or challenges. It certainly is. Um, so if you're trying to mess around with more than one person, I probably would advise against that at this point. Um, and, and not for any holier-than-thou reason, but very much, again, you need to be paying attention. I don't know where that's coming from. I don't know if you need to hear that. But you, you need to, to keep your eyes on what's going on. If you got too much going on, you're going to miss some things. And long-term, that's not going to be good put that there um not to say that what you might not see right now is a bad thing i'm not saying that but uh there may come a point in the future where you know conversations that should have been had weren't had or things that needed to be said weren't said because your mind was too preoccupied with too much oh yes yeah, so, you know what i'm gonna take all of them how about that and these are just the cards that were looking at me in my face earlier. Your challenge. Recognition and reward. Front end of your overall energy. Suffering in silence. And conflict and defeat. However, the energy around both of those is uh, blurry. So I'm saying this: these are feelings that are being evoked or whatever from the past um they're being brought forth from the past this is not permanent how you feeling right now type energy the, because of the person that some of you are dealing with these are feelings that you've had with this person before um on the cut. You're the boss here, Taurus. It's a 444. That's stability. I want to see what the other three cards are before I start running my mouth though. It's stability. That's what I'm hearing. It's stability. Um, whatever it is you're thinking about or contemplating, things that are kind of on the periphery, if you will, um, Those are good things coming. It's going to take some hard work. And you may have to run point this authority card here. That's the bull. As far as I'm concerned, that's the bull card shit. <coughs> Excuse me. You may have to run point on something. You may have to go ahead and take the lead. But don't be afraid to do that. Yeah, there, there's a fire getting started somewhere. What the hell? Mm -hmm. And I told you, whatever it is you're thinking about getting into from the past, it's, it's going to have its obstacles and damn challenges. But the fire is lit. Grab something to drink. The fire is definitely lit. And I'm looking at all of this and going, oh boy. <laughs> that we are kicking it off with all fours up on the top here. Judgment. Oh, wow. Just giving me a hard time. I think must be what's great. Swear to God. Two of Swords. I don't know why I put judgment on the discontent and boredom because it should have gone up there and suffering in silence, but nope. That's not what 
what happened today. Lies and deceit on top of the suffering and silence. Okay. But see, this is your past. That two of swords is on the back side of the card. Um, there's a death card on top of the conflict and defeat. Overcoming your fears. So yeah, this is pretty much what I said. It's not a bad reading though. Strange, but not bad. And this is not going to resonate with everybody, so just kind of be aware of that. Oh, y'all acting shitty tonight. Wow. Look at Abdi. Why y'all salty? Six of Swords on top of that foundation and achievement, and we're right back to this uh, Three of Wands, Integrity. Okay. It looks like for a lot of you, you're going to pick up right where you left off with this person. If this, is, if this story is resonating with you, that's what it looks like. This looks like there's not going to be a gap in time as far as where the relationship picks up. Uh, but there have been many, many changes. So whoever, whatever this is, it's not going to be the same old, same old, same old, same old, same old. Ha -ha. Not this time. Hermit down here on obstacles and challenges. Okay. And then give me one for the challenge in the first piece. Give me one for the challenge. Miss Queen of Pentacles herself. Okay, so. This is what I was saying. Whatever this is, this is obviously a romantic relationship. I don't know why I keep it just keeps getting in all my readings. I have no idea. But on the front end of your overall energy, the suffering and silence with the two of swords um, in this deck, this side of the card talks about lies and deceit. Um, the other side talks about a balance of passion. Obviously, going through a retrograde period such as Mercury you get a little out of balance because shit just gets frustrating and, you know, people get frustrating or whatever. But you're remembering, Taurus, um, whoever this person is, you're remembering because ultimately we're trying to get right here. There's a decision that has to be made um, about this situation to either go forward or to just let the door close on it completely. Um, on the back end of your overall energy, the death card, and that's the front side of the death card, on top of the conflict and defeat, the real energy here is about starting new. And if you're really going to go back into this situation, you're going to have, there's some fears that you're going to have to overcome um, and really just get on your horse and ride the fuck away from the past. Again, things have changed. Uh, and it seems like on both parts, there's a, level, a new level of maturity between the two of you. Uh, and life will do that. It'll just kick your ass and make you grow up, period. End of discussion. Um, 
It's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. With the Queen of Pentacles on top of the recognition and reward, your challenge here is to recognize, um, for many of you, this is what you've asked for. This is this is wish fulfilled type shit. And the person that you're dealing with is recognizing you that bitch. I don't know how else to put it to you. Male, female, whatever. But you that one. And you, you've been that one. But for whatever reason, people have to wander off the trail and you know, go check out somebody else, something else, whatever, just so they can gain the perspective that everybody else had in the first place. I have a feeling your friends, dear Taurus, are telling you, I told you you was going to get together. I told you. It's that kind of energy. But that that's your challenge to just allow this to happen. And you, you've been, again, you've been this person. You can just get this, this Taurus, this energy all day long. You've been this person. They're just not recognizing it. Let them recognize you for who you are, Taurus. This is not the time for the bull to turn tail and start running in the other damn direction. Not that a Taurus would ever do that, but I know some of y'all, me included, get a little shy. Like, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I hear my mother call. Yeah, okay. Accept it. Accept it. A lot of times when we get what we ask for, it just knocks you on your ass. Because you, you, many of you may not be used to getting what you ask for, especially in the way this feels. It's coming back around. Um, there's a lot of major energy on the board. So this is big time shit. This ain't no little small, puny, punk ass type relationship. For some of you, this may be a karmic situation for you. So take that as it resonates. Uh, soulmate might be a twin flame. Uh, yeah, I got the six wands down. It might be a twin flame. It might just be a real deep soul connection. But for whatever any of that is, it's faded. So this is not by accident. However, that resonates. This is not by accident. Looking at the judgment card on top of the discontent and boredom. Um, I don't know how to put this energy. Some of you will be just making a decision because you're just discontented with how your situation is going right now. Uh, and it doesn't have anything to do with a twin flame or soulmate or anything. This is just somebody from your past, or, you know from whatever you've experienced since you've broken up with this person you're feeling the, the true feeling here is that you really want to just make a decision to, to be with them and the, not that you don't love them you do but on the other side of that you're also feeling like this really wasn't what I thought it was going to be out here by myself and that's not a bad place to be in if you're getting back into the relationship for a good, solid reason. Because you love this person. They make you happy. Um, but the discontent part, you know, many of you are going, I should have stayed. Because this is some bullshit. I don't know what I was thinking. Some of you, it may be, the, the energy may be in reverse. The other person may be coming back saying, I fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's just was awful. The whole thing was just ridiculous. Um, at any rate, there's a decision that's going to be made. This is not going to be some loud declaration of bells ringing and Princess Diana and Prince Charles walking down the aisle or something. It's not, no, no. Mm -mm. This might be you having drinks at a bar with this person. You might be at Denny's. You might be at McDonald's drive through You might be at the drive-in movie. Could be. It's going to be a low-key type of thing. But once it starts happening, it's an immediate move on to the next thing. So this is going to happen quick for a lot of you. This is all the time waiting and delaying summertime and miserable and all that gone. Uh, and with this Six of Swords here, definitely moving out of the choppy into the calmer and then look at what's calmer. Oh, it's 
that kind of energy. You're going to go from what the hell, how the hell, why didn't we, and then boom. Now, in order for this, and again, Taurus, you may have to take the lead on this, but in order for this to work, you're going to have to be real honest. This is what this Three of Wands is telling me. You have to be real honest. If there was a third party situation that occurred after, before, whenever, in the past, you're going to have to be honest and say, that hurt. I'm taking you back because I love you. And see, this is not going to be the same for everybody. The emotion there is not going to be the same. There's snags here. Let me throw that out there, too. You might get to this part and, and turn, might not be you turning to it. might be the other person like, ooh, this is too much. There's got to be some balance. And for some of you, this may be why the situation didn't work in the first place and turned into a bunch of lies and deceit and, you know, folks sitting around crying in their coffee and talking to their best friend at 4 o'clock in the morning and all kind of crazy shit. It could be. So you're going to, I don't want to say tread lightly, but you're going to have to pay attention to us. That's what I said earlier. You're going to have to pay attention. And you're going to have to pick up on the subtleties and the nuance of the situation so you don't end up in this retrograde energy from the past. That's good. And so again, I get here. You're going to have to be real honest about what you want. And for a lot of you, it feels like whoever this other person is, they're going to respect your honesty. If you just throw that shit up there against the wall and say what it really is. They're going to respect you for that because they have questions just like you do. I'll just throw that out there. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. When we get to the beginning of the week, this is when the shit gets real. Um, that we start Monday. But yeah, that's Monday. With old girl, this is a high priestess. With her back to us, makes perfect sense. Monday may be a good day to just go sit in the corner and suck your thumb and just not get into it with anybody because you're going through the direct station of Mercury. And I'm telling you, this Mercury retrograde has been off the damn chain. So with that said, I can only imagine Monday is probably going to be a piece of work. I would just, anything emotional, anything um, that's real heavy on you, Taurus, Monday, I just wouldn't even go there. Even if dealing with this situation, again, we're talking about snags. you got to pick up on the nuance and, and the subtleties of what's going on in this situation. Let me hit pause right there and say this. Just because you hit a snag doesn't mean the shit's going to go to hell in a handbasket. That's not what I'm saying at all. But you don't, you know, when things get off track, it's harder to get them back on track. Especially if you've already got a past and everybody's trying to come in with a fresh heart and a fresh mind. So you want to kind of keep things going in the same direction. That may also mean you might need to go a little slow. But here it is. Monday. And this is slow. You know, where you want to be all up under somebody. Oh, he just got back together. Monday, you might not want to do that. And I'm hearing this. It's the universe talking to me now. You may have to start reframing yourself in this relationship. And start doing things that are good for you. Keeping the focus on you. And you see how these two cards, the colors in these two cards kind of blend together. I'm definitely picking up the solitude. Maybe make the commitment to yourself. You're not going to overdo this time, Taurus. You're not going to be doing so much for this person or for the relationship. You're going to keep the focus on you. Hello. Come on now. Tuesday. That's when it gets hot and heavy. The passion ignited. Um, those of you that are not trying to get pregnant. Okay. Word to the wise right here. Uh, I don't know. There's a gazillion different situations that can just pop up. And what do they call it? A little afternoon delight? Yeah, that part. So keep your eyes open. Again, if you're not trying to get pregnant, take the proper precautions. Be safe always. But seriously, if you're not trying to get pregnant, then don't take no chances here. Just throw that out there. Wednesday with the Hermit on top of the obstacles and challenges. Again, like I said before, uh, if you're going back into a redo, a reboot relationship, 
it that's not coming without its own little set of uh, happy challenges and obstacles and shit and pitfalls you got to walk around again snags uh again yeah, the major energy with the hermit taking me right back to high priestess and solo girl here solitude if you feel like things are getting to a point where it's overwhelming you on some level uh, and it might not be emotionally it might be something else you gotta remember for this do over you gotta keep the focus on you because if you lose it towards and you start trying to do like we do and you know you're gonna fix dinner for the whole world and you're gonna clean the house and you're gonna do you will be burnt out before the new year gets here so there's a real clear message here there's things you're gonna have to overcome there's things you're going to encounter as a couple that are going to be difficult, but when it gets too much, you might not want to be trying to put all of this on this person. You may need to, to reframe yourself, as I said before, in this situation and start looking inward. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I'm feeling. <sighs> do the granny card. Do the granny card. It's not... It's not a bad weekend, like I said, it's strange. This wasn't a bad reading. Um, I think those of you that are trying to get into a do-over with someone, this is, is good energy. It's complex, but it's good energy. So, yeah, do it because you want to. That part right there. Patience, my dear. Patience. And that's what I said. You may want to take this do-over a little slower than you would ordinarily starting a new relationship it's what's on the inside and that's real talk